Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and that like button. And welcome to Academics Unscripted, a Teach and Go blog. Educate, learn, grow. Today's topic is, what is a cell? What is its function? Please be sure to check out our store in the description box for resources that go with this video. What is a cell? A cell is the smallest structural and functional unit of an organism. Think of a stack of bricks. If you get enough bricks, you can build a house. If you get enough cells, you can build a human or any other living thing. So the key is two things, that they are small and they help with structure and function, and that when you get enough of them, you can build an organism. There are many cell types. All cells are not the same. Different cells have different functions. Muscle cells create muscle tissue. Bone cells create bone tissue. Brain cells create brain tissue. What is the function or job of a cell? And there are several. First, cells provide structure and support to the body. A process and produce energy. They help with growth by mitosis. They conduct cell transport. They conduct metabolic reactions, and we'll talk about what that means, what that is, and they help with reproduction. Now, first, cells provide structure and support. One cell is not enough, but millions of cells can build tissues, organs, and body systems or organ systems. Right? So once you get enough cells, you can build tissues. Once you get tissues, that uh, are the same, you can build organs. And then once you get enough organs that do the same job, those are called your organ systems or your body systems, like your circulatory system or your, um, or some people call it cardiovascular system or your skeletal system, things like that. The picture below is a picture of muscle tissue. Well, we already said that cells were small. So you need millions of these to build the muscle tissue. You need millions of muscle cells to build it. This gives your body structure and support. Think about if you had no muscles at all, that they just disappeared. You would basically be skin and bones, right? So your muscles give you filling. They make you look fuller, right? They give your body more structure. And they also help you to sit up and move. Without muscles, you wouldn't be able to sit up or move at all, right? You would just uh, be stuck there, okay? So your muscles provide you with structure and support, or your cells, rather, since they build your muscle and other things, provide structure and support to the body. Cells process and produce energy. Think of the food that you eat. Cells help you break down your food and use it for energy. You can't just have a burger and inhale it. It has to be broken down. So you start off by eating it, chopping it in pieces, swallowing it. Your stomach breaks it down, beats it down, churns it up, and turns it into a chemical uh, form so that your cells can use that for energy because in the form it came in, it won't work. It has to be in a uh, chemical form so that the cells can use it, right? So that's what cells do. They, they process the food and then they produce energy for you from that food. Cells help with growth by mitosis, right? So how do your cells grow? They need to make copies of themselves in a process called mitosis to help you grow and to replace your old and dying cells, right? So that's how they keep up with what your needs are. They basically copy the DNA, they split themselves in half, and then that's how you create uh, new cells to help replace old and dying ones, and they help you to grow. Cells conduct cell transport. So things like water, 
vitamins, minerals going in and out of the cell, just like transportation. It's called cell transport, right? Cells conduct metabolic reactions. So cells conduct metabolic reactions, reactions, which is a series of steps that break down molecules to generate energy. Now in the picture below, you can see the arrows, you can see uh, the little icons. All that is showing you is that the cell is going through a series of steps to break down molecules to generate the energy that your body needs. That's what uh, metabolic reactions means that's what they are. Cells help with reproduction. Reproduction, right? Remember that reproductive cells, there are different types of cells, right? And these are called gametes or egg and sperm. They help with reproduction in humans, plants, and animals. So these are your cells that help with reproduction. If you want notes and practice that goes with this video, Click on the link in the description box or the Academics Unscripted banner on the right. That will take you to our store. The academic vocabulary used in this video is listed right here. All right, so thank you guys for coming to Academics Unscripted. If you want more of our biology or science-based videos or even our math videos that have resources that go with them or any of our other academic subjects, look in our uh, playlist to see all our content and links to our store. Thank you for coming to Academics Unscripted. Hit the subscribe button and the like button. And we appreciate that, guys. Educate, learn, grow. Have a good day. Bye-bye.